One of the most important things in teaching social justice, um, whether it is a class in applied theater with um, adult students or sneaking it into uh, work with uh, kids in an after school project, um, it's building a trust. And that comes not from me marching in and saying, you can trust me, um, because that's pretty much the biggest turnoff. Um, it is about taking the time to build a culture of listening on both sides. And that's tough in a quarter system. You kind of have to push, the, push that envelope a little bit. It's rewarding once you get there. And it's taken me 15 years to figure out some shortcuts to get there. And I'm still learning. I'm still researching and um, staying open to new ideas and practices and things that other people have figured out. And I think that that's a huge part of doing this kind of work is staying current. It's really about spending the first couple of weeks of class listening. And that's tough because you want to throw a syllabus at them and say, this is what we're doing and let's get started and I'm going to talk at you. And um, you have to slow down enough to allow for some co-creation of what you want the course to be. And that is scary. And that's a challenge because um, the students aren't used to it. And it's also tough to get the students to trust that this is a process that everyone can engage in, that I'm not coming in as an oppressor. And if I am, it takes them almost all quarter to realize they can say that to me if I'm coming across a certain way and I'm actually open to students saying, hey, wait a minute, you know, that makes me feel a little bit like this. And, um, and that's tough because as a teacher, that's a very scary place to put yourself in. It's very vulnerable. Um, I've cried a lot with this work on both sides. The challenges and then always that challenge turns into a reward because the second that intersection happens in class and you handle it usually with grace and listening, that's how you, you start the real work. It's really important to create an environment of ownership of the course itself. Taking the, that first time to talk to your students about what they want in the course, and to have, as I call them, buoys in the water of the syllabus. There are places that we know we're going to swim to by this date, and this is going to happen by this date. But what those things are, I often don't even have a description for. I talk about what would you like to gain from this class. I listen, and that's been tough, learning how to do that. Um, and then I come back to class the next time saying, here's some projects that um, would work for where we want to go with this class. And um, so we co-create a syllabus. And every quarter that I've taught a Theater for Social Change course, um, we have adjusted the syllabus around midterm time. We have chucked the plan and been flexible. And that's scary as well, but it works if you can do that. What I would say is the key is learning to listen, truly listen. Mm -hmm.